Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Medic Regional Blood Center. This week there are blood drives scheduled all over East Tennessee. Food City and Halls, the Walmart in Clinton, All Saints Catholic Church in Knoxville, I believe, is having one. You can check out medicblood.org to learn where and when there are going to be drives. You can do that any day, any day of the week. You just go to their website. But also they're always willing to take blood where I gave, which is down on Ayler Avenue near campus. It's a great thing. It's a tremendous gift back to the community, saving lives. Medic Regional Blood Center. I can't say enough good things about these people. All right, speaking of saying things, I let you say it to me. On Twitter this week, I threw out some hot button issues and, and gave you a choice. Which current NCAA hot topic would you rather see first? Alcohol sales in Neyland Stadium, sports gambling in Tennessee, or you don't want to see either. And what we got was 36% said that you wanted... Um, the alcohol sales in Neal State, 28% or said that you want to see sports gambling inside the state, and a plurality said you don't want drinking or gambling coming to this state. Um, I'm a little surprised. Well, I think there are some people that would be a little surprised that the answer was negatory on both of those. I myself was not. But uh, just a reminder on the Twitter front, <coughs> only 26% of the country actually have Twitter feeds, so that's got to keep that in mind whenever we do those polls. Uh, that said, I think they're going to get their wish on the no drinking because this week in Destin, the SEC meetings, there was zero traction, no traction for the SEC to change the rules to where schools can sell alcohol in venues, arenas and stadiums. I thought with each of these schools looking at everybody looking for new revenue streams, now maybe when you're making $40 million a year, you're not worried yeah. about it, but... I thought the revenue thing would, addition, would eventually cause the league to say, okay, you can sell it. Plus, West Virginia, which is the wildest fan base out there, they were kind of the test case, and they found that there have been fewer arrests at West Virginia football games once they allowed alcohol sales rather than taking it away. Either way, the SEC isn't going anywhere near this. Anytime soon, it doesn't look like your thoughts on that. Surprises the heck out of me. I thought that Tennessee, or excuse me, I thought the SEC would go in that direction, at least take baby steps towards it, and to totally shut it down. One, the revenue is a thing, and two, and if people say, aha, they're standing up for no drinking in the stadium, aha, they're standing up for no legal drinking in the stadium, because <laughs> if you go to any ball games at all, it's relatively commonplace. It really surprised me that that didn't go anywhere. And they're also standing up for it gives you extra value on the suites, because it's not completely yes. dry everywhere. You can drink in the, in yeah. the luxury boxes. And, and once, it, and, and the once again, the theory is people outside the stadium, they guzzle it down real quick because they know they can't take it in, and that leads to problems. Anybody surprised by this? Anybody else surprised I, by this? You, you got a situation where you got wet campuses and dry campuses in the SEC, and I'm not talking about stadiums. I'm talking about Vandy's a wet campus. I don't so know. you, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty complicated, I think, and uh, I I think there's going to be a lot, lot more backroom uh, things that have to be worked out before this would get to the table. Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me move on here. You guys don't get to comment on booze. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the ACC has proposed expanding the NCAA tournament again from 68 to 72 teams this time around. Rick Barnes and most other coaches have said, oh, I like this. Well, of course. It's because that means four more coaches get in the tournament. That means more uh, – means fewer coaches fired, that means more coaches getting bonuses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, your thoughts, you guys in favor of expanding the tournament? I'll start with you two and then I'll get basketball guy. Bob, you can't talk on this one. I'm thoughts? okay. I'm okay with it. I mean, I, I don't think I want to see the tournament keep expanding. I know that's probably what's going to happen throughout my lifetime because that's what it's done over the years anyway, but I don't think four more teams necessarily changes the flavor of the tournament, makes it that much easier to get in. I think it helps a few teams here and there. That's it. So. I, I, I'm not really opposed to this. I get why coaches are on board with it, but I also don't think it's a huge deal. So, yeah, the tournament's great. Add, add to it jo a little bit. It's fun. Josh, quickly. Yeah, if they gave me power on what would happen, which, of course, they will not, I would say don't do it. And part of that would be the reasons that John kind of laid out. I think there are other reasons that some people do want it. Uh, but I also don't think it would take away from what our biggest reason for excitement of the tournament is, and that's Thursday and Friday. When Thursday and Friday of the opening weekend comes, we'd be just as excited whether it's 68 or 72 teams. Mike, I'm guessing you're okay with it? I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to agree with something John Calipari said. That's I, where I, I was going. I I'm was going to see. Yeah. I'm fine with leaving it at 68. I like the way the first four is now two nights of games. But if John, John Calipari said, 
if you're going to expand it to 72, I think at least three of those four bids, or maybe all I think four he bids, said all four. should go to mid-majors, the number two team in Conference yeah. USA or the number two team in the Horizon, in, in the Horizon League instead of the 10th place team in the Big Ten. And I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I, if that's exactly where I was going, I was going to ask you that question if you like the John Calipari thing, because I love it. You look at how Cinderella's are doing more and more in the tournament, Loyola Chicago this year. Uh, but uh, you look at teams from the smaller conferences are having better and better runs. Parity is out there. And yet last year, three of the 36 at-large bids went to mid-major leagues. That's crap. Yeah. These teams are, are playing well. Give them a shot. I'm all for expanding it if those four slots all go to mid-majors. Bob, gesture. Go to 128. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Davenport, Warlick, Pruitt, lots more to discuss. Come on back.